Hey guys, I'm Lance and welcome to my channel and today I am going to be doing a deconstructed bloom and I'm going to be using almost all prism pour, color art prism pour ultra metallics and the colors that I'm using are a green that's wasabi and a yellow that I love that is shiny taffeta and I'm also using Moody Lilac and I'm mixing that with a little dioxazine purple to deepen it and I am also using a copper or a kappa as my good friend Donna would say and it's by Treasure it's by Folk Art Treasure Gold and it has more of a gold tone to it and I'm mixing my colors with Joe Sonia Varnish and I'm using for the colors that are not prism pour, I'm using a little bit of vivid enamels to mix in with it. For my cell activator, I'm using Aussie Floetrol, and my color that I'm using is lamp black, but I'm also using a Deco Art Metallic pewter. I'm using a little bit of the pewter color mixed in with the black. I just thought it would be interesting and might give it a little bit of shimmer. So as you can see here, I'm layering my colors for the bloom and I'm just sporadically putting down a little bit of that copper, <laughs> the copper color, um, just so that that wouldn't take over, but I wanted it kind of hopefully dispersed throughout. And then obviously I put my cell activator down and it sank on me a little bit, but it was fine and it blew out just fine and it actually does some really cool things um, I was really pleased with the cells and kind of how that cell activator reacted with the DecoArt Metallics pewter mixed in there and I just want to say really quickly too that my base paint is the uh, PPG house paint that I've used in previous videos and I'll list that in my description box and I mix it with about two ounces for this, for that cup that I've poured, about two ounces of GAC 800, um, just to thin it out a little bit. And as you see here, I've blown, it, I've blown the bloom out and I really love uh, what it looks like. And I'm just putting more of that base paint around so that now what didn't get pushed off the edge will move off the edge when I'm trying to stretch it out and kind of you know, manipulate it around and warp it a bit and see what kind of interesting shapes that I can get. And of course, whenever I do these, uh, really my inspiration is n the queen of the deconstructed bloom, in my opinion, Karen Dershon of Waterfall Acrylics. I mean, I think most people would think of her when they think of the deconstructed bloom. And I always love to watch her videos and her mastery of this kind of technique. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I wanted to do this because I've done a couple, but this was the first Shelly Art Style Bloom that I've attempted uh, with the house paint. And, um, and I was pleased with it. I really love how these colors, the Color Art Prism Pour colors are really beautiful. And actually Britt Clayton is the one I can thank for kind of turning me on to those. And she is also a Color Art affiliate. And if you want to order paints from Color Art, she has a code, and her code is Brit Capital B Clayton Capital C three twenty two. And yeah, just type in that code and get a twenty percent discount on your purchase. I am on this Monday evening locomotive of fluid art and Julie E who is normally with us at 6 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time she is taking the day off and so we wish her well and we'll see her again soon after me is going to be K and K create this evening and they will be on at 7 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Angie Mason will be our caboose this evening and she'll be doing a live 
at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please hang out with us and watch everybody's videos. It's going to be a wonderful evening of fluid art. Now, if you're enjoying this video and finding it entertaining, please like the video, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new content. And please leave me a comment because I love hearing from you. Now I've layered my next bloom and put my cell activator down. I'm blowing it out and trying to get my petal shapes and really kind of disperse that cell activator. And I was trying to push it up into the other bloom a little bit without getting things too distorted. Um, and then you're going to see me, I'm going to blow with my car detailing um, valve. I'm going to blow straight down into that cell activator to bring up more cells. And as you can see, they really reacted. They really came up fast. This video is sped up, but they really did come up quickly. And I love the initial look of that bloom. I mean, that's really pretty cool. And um, I love what these color art colors did and how they blended and shaded. I really, that was the wasabi green is really cool um, how it's blending in with the um, purple and the magenta that's in this and I think I forgot to mention that I do have a magenta color that is like a uh, pink flash and it's mixed with some Arteza uh, pearl pink and I think I mixed some um, Fluorescent Opera Pink by Liquitex in with that as well to brighten it up and I really like what kind of magenta color that turns into and So yeah, I'm really really liking these colors together. I Feel like and the reason that I titled it um, Canyon bloom is this looks like a beautiful like like the canyons in the painted desert I mean, it's just beautiful these colors and uh Kind of the rocky kind of look that you know warping this and stretching this out is giving it the blooms it's it's kind of making it almost like a otherworldly landscape and this is what i feel like karen dershon does so well i am nowhere near that kind of <laughs> quality uh deconstructed bloomer but i do love what she does and love watching her videos and I'm pretty happy with this for this is really my first Shelly art style bloom with the house paint and uh, kind of followed what Karen does with the PPG house paint that she suggested I really do like it a lot and um, Tara from pieces of Tara uh, she also uses this and overall though I, w I was I was very happy with the composition and kind of how it pulls you through kind of swoops and pulls you through from top to bottom and um, yeah like I said those the color art prison pour ultra metallics I love them um, I definitely want to order some more I think I'm about to run out of the shiny taffeta color so <laughs> Britt I'm gonna be using your code soon so yeah um, try them out for yourself I, I, I think they're pretty wonderful uh, I love using them and yeah, and here I'm just kind of putting some final touches. I'm kind of running some style lines through there with my palette knife to kind of connect a few things. Yeah, I, I, I'm very happy with this first attempt. I want to say thank you to Karen Dershon at Waterfall Acrylics for being such a great inspiration and uh, all the great beautiful art that she does. And here I'm showing you, I'm going in for some close-ups, and uh, you can see I really love how those colors, just so vibrant, and how they blend together, all the gradients of color, you know, just really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I recently did a bloom, a rainbow bloom for the We Are Family collaboration for Pride Month. And if you haven't checked that out, I'm going to leave uh, an end card at the end of my video. You could go check that out and check out all the artists and their wonderful rainbow colored pride pieces that they did for Pride Month. Really quickly, I also wanted to say I've had a few people ask me about the hair dryer that I use to do my blowouts, and it's a Pro Versa by a company called Jordan. I will link it in my description box if anybody's interested in, in ordering one of these. It's the best one that I've found and I've used several, um, but I can actually control the, the blowout better with it. So you might want to check that out. After me at 7.30 p.m. is K&K &K Create. They're going to be doing something really beautiful this evening. So after me, we're going to head on over to them and see what they're up to. As always, thank you for watching and come back and see me again soon for some more fun pouring together.